Hey guys, how's it going? We are back playing some more Durango. How are we going guys? Okay, so I wanted to go to a new island that I haven't visited yet. So we're going to check that out today. And that's going to be the Desert Sea. So I haven't gone there yet. I haven't seen what, what it's about or anything like that. The Temperate Sea, um, I've been there now quite a bit, um, quite a number of times along with the, uh, the Tundra Sea right above it. And then obviously you've got these little basic islands here now that I really don't sort of wanting to sort of go back to them, I guess. Um, and I think mainly because it's the whole, um, the level of materials and the crafting ability that you have or what that sort of restricts you to, I believe, I guess. Um, so I believe the higher, naturally the higher the, uh, the area that you go to, the higher level of materials that you can obtain. Naturally, if you've um, acquired the skill level so you can um, harvest those type of items, then yeah, 100% you wanna go down there. And then I've also unlocked the midsection here. So we've got a whole, um, a whole lot of level 40 areas that we can um, jump over to, but I'll probably go ahead and leave that for another video um, and I'll probably start looking at those individually and just see what they're all about as well and see what, what you know, uh, shenanigans that we can get ourselves involved in. But for today, it's going to be the Desert Sea. Want to check it out. So, the, so you've got the main island here and then you've got two little sub-islands here. So uh, a couple of pioneer missions, or sorry, one pioneer uh, mission that you can sort of uh, jump onto. And uh, yeah. You know, I don't know if we're going to get through all of it today. I'm not too sure yet. I sort of want to do a bit, a bit of a brief uh, exploration of the island there. Um, let me know what you guys think about just, you know, dedicating a video to an explore, you know, just an, an exploration. Do you guys want to see that? Is that something that you guys are interested in? I don't know. Um, but I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. If you guys are new. Um, and you've only just started playing Durango because of the uh, the worldwide global release that just happened not long ago. Um, definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff if you are interested in watching more videos from myself. Um, and if you enjoy my content, basically. But go ahead, like and comment. I'd make sure you guys hit the like button as well because I really want to get these videos up on the uh, recommend, uh, sorry, recommend, recommend, uh, recommendation. I can't even talk today. I am sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, so long as you hit the like button, it helps me out with the recommenda uh, recommendation page. So my videos will get seen, I guess. And that's what I really want, you know, for that to happen. So you guys to see my videos and, and watch, you know, especially if I can uh, um, help out any new people that have, may have not, not have known about my channel in the first place. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm hoping on, guys. Anyway, we've got some uh, missions here. Now, naturally, I'm assuming as well, the higher island that we go to in terms of level and things like that, uh, well, you know, does that sort of give us, you know, higher XP challenges and things like that? Which I'm guessing that's the case because, I mean, that's the first that I've seen, um, you know, over a thousand XP for one of these missions anyway. So... I might just do this one anyway. Uh, there's a large quantity of sand loose and suddenly came through the wall. I uh, wish we could just let the mother nature sort herself out, but occasionally she needs a little help. All right, well, let, let's go ahead and try that one out. Fishing for scraps, um, nearby ocean, catch fish. Uh, I need to set up a fish trap. Okay, do I have the materials for the fish trap? That's probably gonna be a good thing to sort of take a look at. Where would I find that? Um, no. And do, 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 do. where would that be? Because I know I can craft one. There we go. Uh, a stalk bundle. Ah, oh, you know what? That shouldn't be too much of a hard thing. As long as I find a whole bunch of um, stalks and things like that, I should be fine. So uh, let's go. All right. So you know what I probably should do is let's just go ahead and accept that mission anyway. Cool. And all right, let's go down there. Let's do the first mission. Now, I didn't bring any dinosaurs with me today. I didn't see the need for it. Um, oh, okay, bone pile. Okay. So this is interesting, the cacti and all that 
Uh, pulp, alright. Okay, so herbalism four. Oh wow, well, okay. So I'm actually nearly there, to be perfectly honest with you. And I was, I was sort of talking about the whole skill tree and all that sort of stuff as well in my previous video. If you want to check that out, I sort of spoke about it a little bit. Um, let's grab some of these stalks. And we'll create some bundles so I can create that fish trap as well. And Okay, so let's just go into craft and I need to go to material processing bundle. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and make... We'll just make a couple of bundles anyway, just in case, who knows. I may need it. And construction's gone up, that's always a good thing. Okay, so... Let's go back to... It has to be a stalk bundle. It has to be a stalk bundle, okay. Um, okay. Alright, so I'm going to make two, and I should have just done it like that. That would have been the better way of doing it. Anyway, I've got a bundle there anyway, so I can just feed my, my dinosaurs that I've got tamed, my herbivores. Okay, so with that being said, that, that should now give me the ability to... Okay, cool. So I'm good to go with that. As soon as I find some water, I should be able to make a fish trap. But, um, let's go back to what we were supposed to do in the first place and head down this way. And what type of dinosaurs do we have here? Okay, so these are the sand lizards. Uh, let's go back to you. Let's go to the target area. Ooh, lost package. What's that? Alright, well, let's just take the bank note. We'll get some money on that one there. Okay, so here at whoop, the designated area, so we're going to uh, find some meat. Okay, so that's fine. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take this fella on here. Because, you know, why not? Ooh, okay. Sort of missed that one there, but that's okay. Okay, come on, Mr. Lizard. You shouldn't be too much of an issue for me. Well, hopefully none at all. And I've ran out of stamina, which is always a good thing. Uh, definitely sarcasm on that, but that's fine. Uh, lizard meat. Okay, very easy. And I want to see what that is. Engineer outfit, okay. All right. You know what? I haven't even really looked at those books either, to be perfectly honest. Ramen? Okay. I, I really should be reading those things. <laughs> I mean, there's just so much to do in this game, and you get to a point like you're trying to focus on one thing, and then just something else pops up, and you're like, do I bother? And yeah, it's just one of those things. But anyway. Uh, okay, there's a whole bunch of mud pit there, animal droppings, all that sort of stuff. So a whole bunch of sand lizards here, which is fine. Uh, is this the oceanal area? Okay. Alright, so I've got to drop off. I don't know how far or how far in you can actually do that. Oh well, it doesn't appear that it likes me there. Or can it be done in the lake? I don't, like in a little lake area like this. Oh no, that's not it. Anyway, disregard. Anyway, we'll, um, I'm going to jump over here. Where's my drop off point? Where or where? There you are. Perfect. And I tell you what, they, they, some, some of these missions are quite, you know, basic. They're fairly easy. I mean, there, there are some that sort of give you, you know, a bit of a thinking towards that, you you know, what you sort of need to do, I guess. But, end of a knife. Anyway, 
Alright, we're just gonna go accept all the missions anyway. And how long's the cool time cool down time on that? 30 minutes, that's fine. Uh, okay, so Uh, so I just got to create another two-handed knife and I'll go ahead and drop them off So let's go to craft uh, Two-handed knife that's not a here. There we is uh, So I'll need a stick. It's not going to be too hard to come by And let's just go back to where I was I should find some over here, I guess um, Dry bush, there should be, yeah, there we go, branch. That should be enough. Okay, and uh, let's just craft one of those. And that should be my, t what level was that? Oh, really? Oh, no way, it is. Okay, so I'm still bottlenecked with, with this as well. So, and this is what I was saying before. Um, briefly, and I mentioned this, you know, a little bit more in depth in my last video. Uh, you know, the crafting side of things, you've got certain max levels, and then I've, I've maxed myself out here for some reason, and that's just, for me, that's really annoying. I mean, because I shouldn't be maxed out, or whether or not that's just a... Um, you know, a certain, a certain type of material that's going to max you out. So if I go, I mean, if I do that, then that should be fine. And I, sh I shouldn't have any troubles with that either. So I've got the handle, I've got the, I don't, I need to get some rope. So if I can craft some rope, I guess that would be the way to go. But I do not have any stalks or straps. So as soon as I find a, a stalk tree, I'll, I'll create that and I'll probably go ahead and fulfill that. But again, I guess that's more, more on me. I guess that's something that I really should be more attentive to. That's just the leaf. I, I um, harvest that before I believe. And here we go. That should be fine. So we can grab some of these here. And I should be able to create the rope for that. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay. And we'll grab that just in case I'll probably need some knowing my luck anyway and there's some rainbow cactus so I wonder what we can get out of that while I'm checking that out um, any, okay so there's still the pulps and I need a high level of gathering so that's fine it is what it is uh, do four lots and then I should be able to craft that knife and that should be enough Okay. Nearly there. Perfect. All right. So let's go back to the, the weapon. I need the workbench, of course. There's always something, guys. There's always something. You know, when you get sort of excited and you're like, yes, I've got everything. And then all of a sudden, no, but you need this. That's what, that's what that is. Why are you so close to this area here? Okay. Uh, someone's got to have a workbench for me. Perfect. And level 35, so this should not be a problem whatsoever. And that should give me the knife. Hello? No, it's a two-handed knife. Ah, are you serious? It's a two-handed knife. Oh my god. You, you see what I mean? That, that, that's... Anyway. Alright, so I'll, I'll get some sticks and all that sort of stuff. I'll do that in my travels. Anyway, so... Uh, as you can see... I kind of don't pay attention to things. And that's probably something that you guys should be doing. Or I should be doing, to be honest. And I just sort of... You know, look at it on face value, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's what I need. Cool. And then when I do go, you know, to try and get things sorted, I don't really 
get anything sorted. Anyway. But I want to see, we'll do a, a brief exploration. I don't know why I'm going around the corner here, but we'll, um, I've never been to the desert, so I'm interested to see if there's any other type of dinosaurs around, aside from, you know, a whole bunch of lizards so far. So I'm just going to, let's see. Okay, so if I go like, bam, smack in the middle here, I guess. Okay, so you got higher level Aviraptors. That's cool. So these guys, what, level 33? Alright. Um, and then what else is there around here? You might find just standard Raptors, I guess, potentially. You probably find some Dire Wolves here, I'd imagine. I don't know. Do Dire Wolves stay in the desert? I don't think they do. Um, okay, these are new. Um, okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so a lot of them are sleeping there. I'm not going to, um, bother them, I guess, right now. Okay, and who we got up here? Ooh. Kentosaurus. Yeah, I'm not going to, not going to dance with you guys. No chance. And my stamina is draining. Is there something that I can eat? Um, I don't know, I'm probably wasting these things. Anyway. Probably should just use those if I really have to, but anyway. So, not too much in the way of of exciting items, I, I would imagine, but I mean, the, the cactus, yes, but you do need your crafting up. All right, hello. Okay, so these are the Earthraptors. Okay. Oh, there's like a broken car. Can you search it? Okay. There's glass shards, leather seat. I'll take the leather seat. <laughs> I don't know if any of these other items would be beneficial, but let's just uh, okay, we'll disappear when you leave the item. The cause of this phenomenon is the unsafe effect is unknown. Items sent through the warp hole won't disappear. Okay. So you need to, yeah, okay. So you definitely need to send some things through, you know, a makeshift warp. So you can obviously keep these sort of things. Um, concrete debris. Okay. There's duct tape. Okay. Okay, well, I guess that's interesting. There's tires, duct tape, interesting, okay, okay. I want to take the duct tape off. I don't know if I'll need the tire. But the duct tape seems, seems interesting to me. I feel like I can use that in, you know, for certain applications when I'm crafting. So, you've got the seat belt, there's vinyl fabric. So, I'm just going to make maximum opportunity out of this. Awesome, an air mattress, what's... Okay, so you can actually take the air ma Okay, let me just go around and grab the air mattress. And do I try my luck? I'll try my luck. Let's give it a shot. So I can't capture this guy, so obviously I'm not too much of a higher level to, you know, to do anything about it. Oop, he dodged me. And I just missed out on that, but that's okay. Nice, nice critical. Come here, you. Oh. Okay. Come on, buddy, you can do this. We got this, we got this. Give chase. There we go. 
So I can actually harvest teeth now, which is kind of cool. I'll take the meat, definitely, and the bone, <coughs> just because it's a high level animal. Anyway, you know what, I think we'll probably go ahead and leave it here for today. I mean, I think that's enough exploring uh, the area as well. There's, there's a whole lot of map that I can sort of cover, but I'm definitely not going to go ahead and cover the whole lot today. But anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comment section, guys. Um, do you enjoy, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, island exploration? Is that something that you guys are, in, are interested in? If not, uh, just let me know. But if you guys do enjoy it, yeah, definitely be interested to know that. I'll take the coconut while I'm at it. Um, but yeah, guys, if you are actually enjoying uh, Durango now that it's available and open to everyone to play, uh, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button if you want to see more videos of this. Um, okay, so this is like a like a little swamp area. That's interesting. It's like a little swamp area kind of thing. Anyway, that was interesting. But yeah, guys, uh, hit the like button, all that sort of good stuff. Make sure you subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Take it easy. I will catch you next time.